Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 9 cards being played in modern and they may not be what you expect them to be. So pause the video and see if you can guess all 9 of them. Some of them are kind of obvious and some of them are not. Path to Exile is number 1. It is the most played card in modern. It gets rid of Death Shadow and it gets rid of Death Shadow. There's not much else to say. Creatures are very very scary in this format and it gets rid of Tamagoyf. It's the one white instant solution that solves pretty much your problems. It can get rid of, in my deck, would be Malera, which is I'm trying to combo off in response. Boom. Okay, couldn't combo off because I didn't get all my pieces on time. So I have to play around this card, and it's annoying, but overall I think it is the best piece of removal that we have in modern by a large margin. It just gets rid of everything you could get rid of. Next is Visions. So Blue has taken a lot of hits recently. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we lost Ponder. We lost uh, Gitaxin Probe. It's been very difficult to be Blue. Visions is the best blue cantrip in terms of what we have currently. It is a sorcery speed, so it's not the fastest, but it is the most reliable. And it does feed your graveyard. Uh, we lost a lot. Blue is not as... I think they hit blue harder than any other color. I mean, Jace the Mind Sculptor is on the ban list as well. They don't like cantrips very much, uh, and with good reason. Uh, it gives it too much consistency, uh, and that's not what you want. You want random players. It's kind of like the the poker effect where you want this random nobody to win, and then that can encourage all the other nobodies to play. That's why we don't have consistency. Okay, so the second best removal of all time, I think, in modern... Arguably the first is Lightning Bolt. Uh, Lightning Bolt is very good, but it's not good against De Death Shadow. You Lightning Bolt them to the face, they, their Death Shadow gets a little bigger. You Lightning Bolt their Death Shadow. It, it's too big to begin with. They're not going to play out unless it's big enough. A lot of times it's not going to hit a Tamagoyf after a few turns. It will hit a top. I mean occasionally you'll hit a Tamagoyf, but most times I, I see Tamagoyf start as free fours given, okay, turn one, I play a spell, it goes to graveyard, I crack a fetch land, the opponent plays something, and then now it's a free four. Lightning Bolt is $2.53, so always a great card. Uh, Lightning Bolt is fantastic. You can never have enough of those, in my opinion, even from bulk. Dot Seas is on the rise. It's been some time Thoughtseize hit the low, low price of $10 and now has more than doubled. All right, it's obvious, right? Death Shadow, Thoughtseize. Hmm, that's a pretty good match. A very good match. So Thoughtseize is the best piece of hand disruption, in my opinion, legal and modern. So it is the number fourth. So we had... Visions, uh, sorry, we had Path to Exile, Visions, Lightning Bolt, and Thought Seas. There is something kind of obvious about them. They all cost one mana. Most of the cards on this list cost one mana. So if you want to know, hey, is Amor Kek going to see Eternal Play? Look at the cards that cost one mana or two, but typically one. Relic has risen and it's doing very well now pick up your relics because they're not going to be as cheap as they are why are they so cheap because they got reprinted once the reprints dry out which will take time i'm not going to say it's going to happen today or tomorrow a month from now or even a year from now this card is so good it's so good it is amazing as a sideboard card and if you don't have a playset, these now would be the time to pick them up. If you want a foil playset, now would be the. I don't. I mean, yes, they could reprint it again because it's relatively easy to just put it in a master set and forget about it. But my gut feeling tells me that overall, it's the best piece of graveyard hate uh, for every deck type. Very flexible in what you want to do. Now we finally get to the only non-spell 
So there's no. I'm gonna tell you this. There's no enchantments. Relic is the only artifact. This is the only creature. There's no planeswalkers as well. In the snap is what snap? One, two, three, four, five, six. In the six most played card in modern, you have Snapcaster Mage. His low has already passed, but if you need him, you should pick him up. And in my preference, I would pick up. Mm, it's hard to tell. I like the original art a lot, but I like the little sticker a ton too. Because I think the sticker is actually good. So Snapcaster Maids is a $52 card. It was under $40 at one time and has since gone up. It's the best creature in standard. Uh, best creature in modern. I kind of wish it was in standard. But it's the best creature in modern. Hands down. There's nothing better. Next. Fatal Puss. Another one mana instant. Uh, Fatal Puss, as we've seen in standard, is dominant of standard. I've always said this. If it's good in modern, probably it's going to be good in standard. Even if the meta like shifts slightly, a card to be good in modern has to compete against a much larger card pool than in standard. So a lot of things that you believe are good in standard today are actually not good in modern. It will not be good after they rotate out. 95 to 99% of the cards will be kind of bad. Now, Fatal Push. How can you determine if a card is good while it's in standard? Well, is it seeing any play in modern? Because if it is, that's a good card. Fatal Push is an $8 card, almost nine. I do not see it being less expensive. Maybe like it gets reprinted, and hopefully it does, because the $9 uncommon is eh. But it does add value to the set. Now, Here's one that is a great speculation. Stony Silence is the best card against Affinity. You play this against Affinity, it is very unlikely Affinity can beat you. Uh, unless they are, you've already taken a lot of damage and this is... If you play this on turn 2 against Affinity and you curve into it, they're not going to beat you. The probability of them beating you has dropped drastically. When you can absolutely hose one of the stronger decks, that's what you want to do. Stony Silence was a pricey card, then it got reprinted, and eventually these cards from 2017 will go up in price. I'm going to guess in two to three years, this card will be another $10 card uh, once supply dries up. Now, supply is not dry. There are many boxes of 2017 still available for under MSRP. So keep that in mind. It's a long-term play, but you can also enjoy the card as well. Inquisition of Kozilok. Uh, this is has been reprinted many times recently. It has been reprinted in an event deck. Many of you forgot that. It's been reprinted in an event deck. It's been reprinted in one of the conspiracies as a rare. And it's been reprinted as an uncommon in Modern Masters 2017. This is a fantastic card. This is the real deal. Uh, this is the real deal. Thought Seize is not always considered in meta. Right now it's in meta because Death Shadow is so good with it. But Inquisition sometimes gets played more than Thought Seize. And the reason is if the meta is extremely aggro, then you want Inquisition. Right? This is very good against burn decks while Thought Seize just gets owned. I mean, you basically shock yourself to take out a burn spell. So basically to cast a burn spell for free. Anyway, let me know uh, what you guys think of this list and leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.